Here are the top 4 activities you can do for free in South Korea. Number 1. Visiting Tsongwade Before 2022, it was very difficult to visit Tsongwade as a foreigner. Ito kasi yung presidential residence, meeting place ng ministers and high-ranking officials, and reception hall para sa mga diplomats since 1948. Kailangan mong magpabook in advance, tapos grabe yung security nila upon entry. Marami ring areas na prohibited ang picture-taking before. But in 2022, binuksan na nila to sa public. So now, hindi na dito nakatira ang president and then transform na siya into a public park slash museum. So my two favorites here were the section where I got to know more about their previous presidents and what their lives were like beyond their office and ba yung mga hobbies nila. Another one was the office of the president which was the highlight of the main hall. Ito yung pinakapinipicturean talaga dito. To visit this place, make a reservation on their website. Take note lang na sarado sila every Tuesday. By the way, this place is huge. So a lot a minimum of 3 hours here. You can come here by yourself for free or if you prefer a guided tour, you can also join a walking tour which you can book via Klook. Marami pang ibang travel activities na pwede niyong mabook sa Klook while you're in Korea. You may use my promo codes TRAVELERKLOOK and 5KLOOK for additional discounts. Pwede niya rin gamitin niyang codes in and outside the Philippines. Number 2, University Hopping Unlike in the Philippines na ang hirap makapasok sa mga universities at kailangan student ka doon para makapasok, sa Korea hindi mahigpit ang security. Kaya nga parang naging tourist spots na yung mga universities doon. The top universities that I'd recommend you to visit are Yonsei University, Iwa University, Korea University, Kyunghee University, lalo na kapag autumn season, sobrang ganda dito. And syempre, kapitbahay ng Kyunghee University and alma mater ko, Hangok University of Foreign Studies. You can freely explore the university premises and take photos, pero syempre, be courteous pa rin sa mga taga doon. Number 3, Exploring Han River. You cannot visit Korea without exploring Han River dahil isa to sa mga landmarks ng Seoul. Maraming pwedeng gawin dito, pwedeng mag-picnic, tapos order kay ng chicken delivery. Meron namang nare-rent dito na mga mats. Pwede mag-bike na isa sa mga masayang gawin dito kasi ang luwag ng bike lane nila. Pwede ring manood ng mga performances kapag weekend. Take note na maraming areas para may explore ang Han River but we do recommend the Yoido area. Kung gusto nyo naman by water may explore ang Han River, we would recommend to take a cruise. Ito, hindi siya free pero mura lang siya. 541 pesos lang sa klok. Ang sayo magpakain ng seagulls dyan. So I personally prefer taking the afternoon cruise kesa sa night cruise. Number 4, Museum Hopping. Visiting a museum is one way of getting to know a city. Dahil madalas ilang araw lang naman tayo dumadayo, limited lang talaga yung chance natin na makilala yung country. So I do urge you to visit Korea's museums. Ito yung mga marirecommend ko na museums na may free entrance. Number one, War Memorial of Korea. Makikita nyo dito yung flag ng Philippines bilang isa tayo sa mga nagpadala ng soldiers ng Korean War para tulungan ang Koreans. Nandun rin yung pangalan ng mga soldiers na tumulong before. At alam nyo ba, sa Korea meron din silang Korean War Scholarship para sa mga descendants ng mga soldiers na yon. Number 2, Seoul Museum of History. Dito nyo naman makikita kung paano nagbago yung city throughout the years. Number 3, Seoul City Wall Museum. Dito nyo makikita yung history kung paano binuo yung wall na nagprotekta sa Seoul for over 600 years simula pa ng Joseon Dynasty. Maganda rin yung view dito sa taas. Very Instagrammable. Number 4, Hangul Museum. Dito nyo naman makikita kung paano nagsimula yung writing system ng Korea. Magandang learning experience siya para sa mga nag-aaral ng Korean. Sobrang dami pang ibang museums dito. Yung iba kung hindi man free, sobrang minimal lang ng bayad na sa 100 to 200 pesos lang. Kaya sobrang worth it na. If you need more tips to help you plan your trips, lalo na sa Korea, do check out the link in our bio for more travel videos. There you go. Enjoy Korea!